Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is a look at the on-screen keyboard experience of Windows Phone 7. Let's get to it. Okay, before getting started, we want to mention that this is not final Windows Phone 7 hardware or software. Now, the on-screen keyboard in Windows Phone 7 is especially important because software developers cannot customize the on-screen keyboard. What you see is what you get. You can't change it right now like you could in Windows Mobile Legacy and like you can today in Android. That may change in the future. It'd be nice to see a swipe keyboard on Windows Phone 7, but right now, this sort of rectangular keyboard is what you get. And you know, it's not that bad. It's actually really good. Now, before talking about that, of course, you may have another keyboard option if you buy a Windows Phone 7 device with a slide-out keyboard, like the LG Panther here, which may or may not be going up for sale on AT&T. It passed the FCC, so rumor has it that it's coming to AT&T, but that's unconfirmed. Uh, by AT&T at the moment. So let's talk about the keyboard. Unlike uh, Android and iPhone, the keys are very, very squarish on Windows Phone 7. The first and second row are offset, which is nice for ergonomics, and then the second and the third row and fourth row are laid out in a grid. Now on some keyboards, you can get to the numbers by tapping and holding along the top row of keys, which really helps with usability like on the HTC HD2 and a lot of other HTC keyboards. But in Windows Phone 7, you have to go the extra step of pressing the 1, 2, 3 button here in the corner to access all of the characters and the symbols. Now, fortunately, they placed the period and the comma, obviously very frequently used punctuation marks, within easy reach so you don't have to dig into another menu to get to a period or a comma, which is the case with some smartphones out there. Now, we have a dedicated button for emoticons, so we can tap on that and get a wide variety of emoticons. By the way, I should mention that this keyboard will change color based on the system color scheme. So if you are on the dark color scheme, it will be a black keyboard. But if you're in the light color scheme, like we are now, it will be a white keyboard, which just looks better when filming on camera. That's why I have that chosen. So let's talk about the actual typing experience. When you type in Windows Phone 7, you get a clicky sound. A, a clicky sound that I find quite satisfying, but some may find annoying and will want to turn off. Okay, so as you can see, there is autocomplete, so you don't have to be super precise when typing. And as you type, suggestions come up. And you can either tap on a suggestion to make it go through, or you can just keep typing, and when you press the space bar, Windows Phone 7 will use the word that it thinks you're trying to say. I found this to be very, very accurate, uh, so accurate that it's almost as fast in my test uh, than, than the iPhone keyboard is, and in some cases Android, depending on which keyboard you are using. Now, if you flip over into landscape, we get a larger keyboard, which is actually a little bit awkward to use compared to the portrait keyboard. So I'm gonna try typing the quick brown fox. And there we go, very accurate. Now there are some settings associated with the Windows Phone 7 keyboard, and I'm going to get to those. So let's go into the settings here. And down here are the settings for the keyboard. So we can choose to capitalize the sentence, uh, capitalize the first letter of a sentence. We can have it suggest text and highlight misspelled words, which is good for autocorrect. Correct misspelled words. Insert a period after double tapping the spacebar turned on, insert a space after selecting a suggestion. So really just a bunch of autocomplete options. You can also change the keyboard if you want to go to another one. So right now we're in, we're in English and here we go. We have a variety of different keyboard choices. Now let's go back. Something else I wanted to talk about. Of course, like other smartphone keyboards, if you tap and hold on certain, certain characters, you will get the other uh, varieties for different languages. So here we can get this letter, or if we do an I, we can choose a variety of letters, or if we do the N, get the Spanish letter there. Okay, so I've brought in the iPhone 4 here and the Google Nexus 1, so you can get a sense for how the keyboard sizes compare. These screens are all very similar sizes. We have 3.5 inch here, 3.5 inch here, 3.7 inch on the Nexus 1. You can get a sense if we line them up of the keyboard heights. They all go to about the same level. It's possible that the Windows Phone 7 keyboard is a little taller because we have this bar along the bottom. And you can see the difference in the keyboard letters. So here on the iPhone, they're rounded a little bit, very rectangular on Windows Phone 7 and also a little bit rounded on the Google Nexus 1. Let's compare the landscape keyboards on all of these devices. 
And here they are in landscape. You can see that the most surface area probably can be found on the Google Nexus One, but it also takes up a tremendous amount of the screen, whereas the surface area on the Windows Phone 7 device and on the iPhone is pretty much the same. Now one final thing to note since we're talking about text entry, in Windows Phone 7 you cannot copy and paste, so if we want to tap and hold, nothing happens. What you can do is move the cursor and select a particular word. So just tapping on a word will select it. Really cool. Uh, and we can actually change the auto-suggest item here. And you can also obviously use that tool where you're tapping on a word to delete. It seems practically impossible to select multiple words, although perhaps that's just a, uh, a feature coming in future builds of Windows Mobile. So if I wanted to just highlight uh, world and after, I really, I really can't. I can tap on the word individually or the other word individually, but there's really no way to multi-select. So overall, the keyboard experience in Windows Phone 7 is really great, save for the lack of copy and paste and multi-select. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching. That's it for now.